God bless you. Welcome to this channel, The Tech High Priest. Today I'm going to show you how you can install a virtual machine with uh, Red Hat Enterprise uh, Linux 9. And uh, our hypervisor of today is VMware Workstation 17. And I'm going to guide you step by step. It's really very easy. However, Red Hat, uh, with a lot of steps and a lot of different places where we need to sign up, made the whole thing a little bit complicated. But we're going to go step by step and I will show you. And uh, Red Hat gives you 16 licenses of uh, Red Hat Linux free just for development. It's not for production. You can use it to develop uh, uh, stuff you want to develop or in your lab environment. And in 2020, Red Hat had changed the way they, they used to work. In the past, they had something we call CentOS OS or CentOS. Uh, the CentOS was a community Linux. It was very stable. It was like a mirror release of Red Hat, very stable release of Red Hat. So they discontinued that version of the OS. And they created something we call CentOS Stream, and they made it an upstream of Red Hat. Anyway, enough with that story. You can Google and read about that story. But right now, you have 16 developer licenses that you can use. You can create up to 16 virtual machines running Red Hat Enterprise Linux, and that have access to all Red Hat repositories, your own packages, and all the updates. The very first thing I'm going to do is to go to developers.redhat.com. When you get here, if you already have an account with Red Hat, just log in. If you don't, then click on Join Red Hat Developers. And it will bring up this form where it will give your username. That's my username I created, my password, first and last name, my job role. And then you accept the term of service and hit Create Account. They will send you an email to confirm your email address. And that's all. That's basically it. After you do that, uh, that email will automatically log you in. Since I already have an account, I'll come over here and I'm going to click Log In. I'm going to log in with my username. Username is Tech High Priest. My password. And I'm in my account. Now we have Try Red Hat AI and a lot of things that you can try. So since we've done that, the next thing I would ask you to do is to go to uh, and then open a new tab and go to console.redhat.com. I'll put the links in the back. That's the next step. On console.redhat.com, if you come here to Red Hat Enterprise Linux, this is the first thing you would see. If you look below, you would see uh, Insight for Rail. Click on Insight for Rails. Come down over here to Business. Click on Business. Click on Subscriptions. And then as soon as you have Subscriptions, as soon as you click Subscriptions, uh, you will see Activate uh, Subscriptions. That's for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. I'm going to activate that. And my subscription has been activated. It says data can take up to 24 hours to be processed. and will appear on this page when ready. Anyway, we've done that. The last side we're going to go to is access. Red Hat. Dot com. Slash download. Or just access. Red Hat. Dot com. When you click on access. Red Hat. Dot com. It would want you to give in more information about your company. So, uh, yes, Tech High Priest, that's my name. You want my phone number? Uh, I'm going to put in my phone number, but I will not show you my phone number. Uh, my department, and just say network, whatever works for you. It's a personal account. You want your country, United States. You want your address. You put in your address. I'll put a And I hit submit. Give them my information. And all you have to do when you come to Red Hat Portal, you can click here on download. We're already there. Just click on uh, access Red Hat, click on downloads. And this is what we are looking for. We're looking for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. I will click on that. Let me click on this drop down arrow. Just click here Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It will take us to the download page for that. Okay, we are here, and now we have network images. This would help us to install Red Hat over the internet. It's really uh, a very small package. However, it's gonna take you way much time if you have a slow internet connection. Now, I want offline images, and I'm more interested in Red Hat Enter Enterprise Linux 9.4 binary DVD. So I'm gonna come here and click download. I want the DVDs and ISO file. 
and say do you want to download these i say yes and then i will go ahead and and save it make sure you save it safe at a location that you prefer so it's a dvd iso you can see it's 10 gigabyte it's going to take me two minutes i have fiber optic in my house so for you it might take you a few hours so let's go ahead and install our red hat enterprise linux since we are done with the download good so now that you're done with download the next thing we are going to do is we are going to come to a vmware workstation and start our installation so let's begin our installation file new virtual machine and uh, typical recommended is fine i'm gonna browse my iso to look for the image i just downloaded hit browse and uh, my image is the Red Hat Enterprise Linux DVD, which is the one I just downloaded. And I'm going to hit next. They want my name. My username. Password. Of course, we are using VMware Workstation. That's the name of the machine. And I want it to be stored at this location. You can choose whatever location you want for your virtual machine to be stored. Next, 20 gig of space is fine for me. And we have a NAT network adapter. Memory it gives two gigabytes of memory. That's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, finish. I have so much memory. In fact, I'll give it four gigabytes. I'll click on customize hardware. And I will go to the memory and I'm going to choose four gigabytes. I'm going to hit finish. Two gigabytes is fine, guys, but I prefer four. It automatically starts the boot process. Now, double click inside of the screen right now. I've double click. Move your cursor up to choose the first option Red Hat Enterprise Linux 9.4. If you don't do that, it will take about 50 seconds and it will choose the second option where it would spend a lot of time trying to test the software. I'm going to hit enter. I've hit enter and uh, let the installation begin. We over here it's asking for the language i choose english continue and keyboard type installation destination i'm going to click there you see it's it's in red which means i need to do something i'll click on that and uh, i would it's already checked you see this already a check sign um so i just hit done that's all you do you don't have to check anything just hit done because there's already a black check now i'm going to put my root password The root password is the password for the main administrator of the system. I'm gonna, I will not allow, I will not lock the account and I will not allow people to SSH into my root account. And uh, the next thing, we can create another user. I'm gonna create the tech high priest user. And I want to make him an administrator. I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to go ahead and begin the installation. The installation has begun. So it will take a few minutes depending on the speed of your uh, computer. So uh, hopefully the next eight minutes we should have our Red Hat uh, server up and running. We can see that the installation is completed. I will go ahead and hit reboot. I'm 
password. There we go. We are finally in our machine. Uh, this is your Red Hat Enterprise 9. Our installation completed successfully. You can proceed to maybe register your system with Red Hat because you have the developer subscription. And uh, for the moment, this is just all we needed. You can open your terminal and start playing with your terminal and start uh, studying Red Hat. Thank you so much for being part of this uh, tutorial. Um, I hope uh, you enjoyed it and you're able to deploy Red Hat on your own system. Uh, please do well to like and subscribe to this channel. And thank you so much. Bye.